Hi everyone, myself Dr. P. Soumya, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss about carbon cycle. In this, I will discuss about uh, introduction about uh, carbon cycle, definition of carbon cycle, carbon cycle steps, carbon cycle steps, carbon cycle on the land and oceanic carbon cycle. Importance of carbon cycle and conclusion. So, carbon cycle it shows uh, carbon cycle it shows the movement of carbon in elemental and combined states of on earth. So, carbon cycle it shows movement of carbon. Carbon cycle it shows movement of carbon in elemental and combined state on earth. Diamond and graphite are the elemental forms of carbon. Diamond, graphite, these are the elemental forms of the carbon. So, and in a combined state, it is found as carbonates. So, we know that carbon, it is indicated as C. So, it is in elemental form, it is in the form of carbon. So, it is in the form of uh, Graphite or diamond, it is, these are elemental form. So, if it is in combined state, it is found as carbonate, carbonate. So, like calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate, any carbonate. Calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate or any, any carbonates. So, here in, in elemental form means it is in, in the form of carbon like diamond and graphite. In combined state means it is in the form of carbonates like any salts, calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate, any carbonate. So, um, and another combined state it is carbon dioxide that is, that is gas. Carbon dioxide, this is gas. It is in atmosphere. It is also combined state of carbon. If it is present in elemental state, means it will, we have to indicate as carbon. So, here if it is found, it is found as carbonates and carbon dioxide in an atmosphere. So, what is carbon cycle showing? The so carbon cycle shows the movement of carbon in elemental and combined states. Combined states are carbonate or any carbon, any carbon, any combined state like carbon dioxide or carbonate. So, what is the definition of cycle? Carbon cycle. Carbon cycle, it is the process where carbon compounds are interchanged among biosphere, geosphere, pedosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere of the earth. So, here the carbon cycle, it is the process where carbon compounds are like carbon, carbonate or any carbon dioxide. So, that are interchanged between among the biospheres, among the biosphere, geosphere, pedosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere of the earth. So, this is the definition of carbon cycle. Carbon cycle, it is nothing but it shows the movement of carbon compounds. So, it, it shows the movement of carbon compounds. These are interchanged among the biosphere, geosphere, pedosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. So, introduction to this carbon is, carbon cycle is, carbon it is found in atmosphere. We know that mostly as carbon dioxide. So, we know that the carbon it is found in the atmosphere mostly in the form of carbon dioxide. So, like CO2, it is in the form of carbon dioxide. So, animal and plant. So, this is very important process. Animal and plant respiration place carbon into atmosphere. Animal as well as plant respiration. These are giving carbon into carbon to atmosphere. So, animal and plant respiration place carbon into atmosphere. So, when you exhale, you are placing carbon dioxide into atmosphere. Uh, so, when you exhale or when animals exhale, so they are placing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. 
So carbon, it is found in lithosphere. Carbon, it is a carbon found. So in lithosphere, it is in the form of carbonate dioxide. Carbon found in atmosphere, it is mostly as carbon dioxide. Carbon, it is found in the lithosphere in the form of carbonate drugs, in the form of carbonate drugs. So, carbonate drugs came from ancient marine plankton that sunk to the bottom of ocean hundreds of millions of years ago that were then exposed to heat. So, these carbonate drugs are ancient marine plankton. So these are formed in uh, so and these are formed in the ocean hundreds of millions of years ago. So here uh, these are uh, under high high temperature and high pressure conditions. High temperature and high pressure conditions. So carbon it is also found in fossil fuel. Carbon it is also found in fossil fuel such as petroleum like crude oil. Coal and natural gas. Carbon it is also found in fossil fuels like petroleum, coal and also natural gas. So here carbon it is found in atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. Carbon it is formed in the lithosphere in the form of carbonate drugs and carbon it is also found in fossil fuel such as petroleum, coal, natural gas. Carbon, it is also found in soil from dead and decaying animals and animal waste. Carbon, it is also found in soil from the dead or decaying animals and animal waste. So, uh, so we know that the carbon, it is found in atmosphere, lithosphere and it is also found in fossil fuel and also it is found in soil in the form of dead or decaying animals. So carbon, it is found in biosphere stored in plants and trees. Carbon, it is found in the biosphere stored in plants and trees. So uh, the plants use carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to make the building blocks of food during the photosynthesis. So these uh, carbon, it is found in biosphere which is stored in plants and trees. These uh, Plants and trees, these will use the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and using sunlight, they will make the food from photosynthetic photosynthesis process. Carbon, it is found in hydrosphere, so dissolved, it is in ocean water and lakes. So here carbon, it is found in hydrosphere, dissolved in ocean water, so and lakes. Carbon, it is used by many organisms to produce shells. So, in ocean water, this carbon, it is used by many organisms, many living organisms to produce shells like carbonate shells, carbonate shells. So, marine plants use carbon for photo photosynthesis. Marine plants also using this carbon dioxide for photosynthesis process. The organic matter that is produced become a food in aquatic ecosystem. So in this photosynthetic process, the food is produced by using carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide, it is found in hydrosphere. So it in dissolved state, in dissolved carbon dioxide state. So the carbon, it is used by many organisms which are in ocean. So these are producing the shells like calcium carbonate. And so here, Marine plants, plants which are used, which are in ocean, so these are also using carbon dioxide for the photosynthesis process, which is used for production of food. So it is carbon, it is found in atmosphere as carbon dioxide. Carbon, it is found in, uh, in the form of carbon dioxide. Carbon, it is found in lithosphere in the form of carbonates, in the form of carbonate. So, it is found in fossil fuel as well as uh, it is found in dead animal waste. So, it is also found in biosphere which is stored in plants and animals which is stored in plants and animals. So, which, uh, the carbon it is also found in hydrosphere in dissolved state. It is also found in hydrosphere 
in dissolved carbon dioxide state this carbon dioxide is used by this carbon it is used by many organisms to produce and this is also used for the photosynthesis process of marine plants and this is the introduction about carbon and carbon combined carbon compounds so what are the steps involving carbon cycle carbon cycle so following are the major steps involved in the process of carbon cycle so carbon present in the atmosphere it is absorbed by plants for photosynthesis processes it is very well known uh, thing so here carbon present in atmosphere it is absorbed by the plants for photosynthesis process these plants are then consumed by animals these plants are consumed by animals these carbon gets bioaccumulated into their uh, animals so the plants these plants are uh, consumed by animals the carbon this carbon gets accumulated this carbon gets bioaccumulated into their animal bodies these animals and plants eventually die so if the animals and plants eventually die and upon decomposing carbon it is released back into atmosphere so if the these animals and plants die it will die so these uh, uh, and upon decomposing the carbon again released back into atmosphere some of the carbon that is not released back into the atmosphere so eventually it will become fossil fuels so the carbon which is which is not released back into the atmosphere this is eventually becomes as fossil fuel fossil fuels so these fossil fuels are then used for man made activities then these type of fossil fuels are then used for man made activities which pump more carbon back into the atmosphere so these fossil fuels these are uh, used by ma the man made activities so which pump which will give which will give more carbon back into the atmosphere so these are the steps involved in the carbon cycle first step it is carbon that is present in atmosphere it is absorbed by plants for this for the photosynthesis process so these plants after production of food these plants are consumed by animals then carbon gets accumulated on the animal bodies when the animal and plant both the die so the, upon decomposing so the carbon again released back into the atmosphere so the carbon which is not released into atmosphere so this is it will become fossil fuel again this fossil fuel these are you then used for man made activities so which are giving again more carbon back into the atmosphere so this is the carbon cycle so here in this uh, carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide so this is uh, which is present in atmosphere which is present in atmosphere this is consumed by the plants so these are plants are uh, taking this carbon dioxide present in atmosphere and using sunlight and water these are producing the food through photosynthesis process so this these plants and these plants are uh, these plants are again these were uh, consumed by the animals so our uh, animals so then during the respiration of both animals and humans so that uh, carbon dioxide again release into atmosphere so here so the both when animals as well as plants animals as well as plants so when they will die they will the dead organisms and waste products the carbon is produced by by using the carbon it is produced by uh, decomposition of dead organisms of plants and animals so if uh, the carbon which is not released into the atmosphere this become as fossil fuel this become as fossil fuel so this is again uh, this is again used by man made activities so which is giving which is giving again more carbon dioxide into atmosphere more carbon dioxide into atmosphere 
if we see this carbon dioxide, this carbon dioxide is coming from organic carbon. So, and also animal respiration. And by using the dead organism, decomposition of dead organisms and res root respiration, root respiration and also from the factories. So here these are the carbon dioxide sources. So these carbon dioxide sources, this carbon dioxide which is in the atmosphere used by the, again it is used by plants. So this is the cyclic process. So that this is about carbon cycle. This is about carbon cycle. Here carbon and carbon elements and carbon, combined carbon, it is interchanged between. So here different, different atmosphere, lithosphere and hydrosphere like that. So this is carbon cycle. Carbon cycle on land. How carbon cycle is there on land? So the carbon in the atmosphere, it is present in the form of carbon dioxide. So we know that the carbon which is present in atmosphere, it is in the form of carbon dioxide. It is in the form of carbon dioxide. Carbon enters the atmosphere through natural processes such as respiration, industrial applications such as burning fossil fuels. So it is a the carbon it is entering into the atmosphere through natural process like uh, uh, plant respiration, root respiration, animal respiration and industrial applications such as burning of fossil fuels. So the process of photosynthesis, the process of photosynthesis it involves the absorption of CO2 by plants to produce carbohydrates. So it is the process of photosynthesis it involves the Absorption of carbon dioxide by plants to produce carbohydrates. So the equation is the plants these are these are absorbing water as well as carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and water and giving and using so sun and solar energy. So these are forming carbohydrates like CH2O taken N times and oxygen. These are releasing oxygen into the atmosphere by taking water, the carbon dioxide and the energy, solar energy. So the plants are producing carbohydrates and leaving oxygen into the atmosphere. So this is the reaction. So on carbon cycle, photosynthesis reaction. So carbon compounds are passed along food chain from the producers to consumers. So the carbon compounds, these are passed along the food chain from the producers to consumers. The majority of carbon exists in the body in the form of carbon dioxide through respiration. The majority of uh, uh, carbon, it is exist in the body in the form of carbon dioxide, it is through respiration. The role of decomposers is, is the role of a decomposers is to eat the dead organisms and return the carbon from the back carbon from their body back into the atmosphere. So that process equation is for the process is so the carbohydrates plus oxygen. So these decomposers using oxygen for the decomposition, decomposition of carbohydrates. So these are giving again carbon dioxide and water into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide and water into the atmosphere. The role of decompose is to eat the dead organisms and return, return the carbon from their body back to the atmosphere. The reaction it is indicating this carbon dioxide again. So these decomposers are using oxygen for the decomposition and this giving back to giving back carbon dioxide and water to the atmosphere. Water to the atmosphere. So this is the carbon cycle on land. So first carbon dioxide is consumed by the plants. After that, this carbon dioxide is released by using decomposers. Decomposers. So this is the carbon cycle on the land. So this uh, next one is oceanic carbon cycle. Oceanic carbon cycle. This is essentially carbon cycle but, but in the sea. Ecologically, oceans take in more carbon than it gives out. Means, ecologically, oceans take in more carbon than it gives out. 
so it will take more carbon it will give out less carbon than taking uh, uh, the uh, consuming carbon so hence it is called carbon sink the oceans take in more carbon than it gives out so this uh, this uh, oceans are called as carbon sink ocean is called as carbon sink marine animals convert carbon to calcium carbonate marine animals marine animals which are present animals which are present in ocean marine animals these will convert carbon to calcium carbonate it will convert carbon to calcium carbonate calcium carbonate so this forms the raw building material so it is a it will it is a used as raw building materials required to create hard shells similar to the ones found in clams oysters clams and oysters so here marine animals this will convert carbon to calcium carbonate so it is it is it is the it is these forms are the raw building materials required to create hard shells so here these calcium carbonates are used for making hard shells similar to ones which are found in clams and oysters so when organisms with calcium carbonate shells die the the organisms the living organisms which are having with the calcium carbonate shells with calcium carbonate shells die their body decomposes they bore their body decomposes and leaving behind their hard shells but that uh, hard shell that, that does not undergoing decomposition so they are leaving behind their hard shells so only body is decomposing not the hard shell so these accumulate on the sea floor and are eventually broken down into the waves these are accumulated on the sea floor and these are eventually broken down into by the waves so and compacted under enormous pressure and forming limestone so these are finally these are forming limestone limestone so here the uh, carbon the animals which are present in uh, ocean these are converting carbon into calcium carbonate so it is in the form of uh, shells so when the, the organisms without shells carbonate shells die their body only body decomposes and they are leaving the the their hard shells in the ocean so when the when these accumulate on the sea floor they are broken down by the waves and these are compacted under enormous pressure and temperature so these are forming limestone these are forming limestone so when these limestone rocks are exposed to air when these limestone rocks are exposed to air they get weathered they get weathered and the carbon is uh, released back into the atmosphere then the the carbon it, it is it weathered and it is the carbon is released back into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide as carbon dioxide so first marine animals are taking the carbon or carbon dioxide so which are using which are forming calcium carbonate so these are used for making shells so these shells when these carbonate uh, living organisms with carbonate shells die the only body decomposes and the, the hard shells these will broke down into broke down by the waves and these are forming limestone so when these limestone it is exposed to air they get weathered and the, the carbon the carbon it is released back into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide so here the carbon dioxide is carbon dioxide it is consumed by marine animals and finally finally the finally we hit the carbon dioxide it is released into the uh, ocean atmosphere so this is carbon cycle carbon dioxide it is consumed as well as it is released and the last final process that is limestone when limestone exposed to air so it will give the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so what is the importance of carbon cycle even though carbon dioxide it is in it is found in small traces even though carbon dioxide it is found in small traces in atmosphere 
it plays a vital role in balancing the energy and traps the long wave radiations from the sun so even though it is found in very small traces in atmosphere it is playing a important role in balancing the energy in balancing the energy and traps uh, it it is traps it will traps the long wave radiations from the sun it will trap uh, the long wave radiations from the sun therefore it acts as blanket over planet therefore the carbon dioxide this will uh, this it is acts as uh, it acts as a blanket over a planet if carbon cycle it is disturbed if carbon cycle it is disturbed it will result in serious consequences such as climatic changes and global warming so the if the carbon cycle it is disturbed it will result in serious consequences such as climatic changes and global warming carbon it is integral component of every life form on earth so from proteins and lipids to even our dna so carbon it is an integral comp component of every life form on, on earth so it is in proteins it is in the form of from proteins and lipids and even our dna it is made up of carbon compounds but the more all known life on the earth it is based on carbon so all known life all known life on the earth it is based on carbon hence the carbon cycle and along with the nitrogen cycle oxygen cycle plays a vital role in the existence of life on earth it's the carbon cycle along with the nitrogen cycle oxygen cycle plays a vital role in the existence of life on the earth so this is the importance of carbon cycle so how do humans place carbon in atmosphere so humans place carbon into atmosphere in a variety of ways so that is uh, uh, deforestation so in the form of deforestation so wood burning by wood burning and combustion of fuel fossil fuels when we cut down trees and forest they can no longer remove carbon dioxide from the air so this results in addition carbon dioxide placed in atmosphere so what is the work of plants and trees so these will remove the carbon dioxide from the uh, atmosphere so when we cut down the trees the forest the car, uh, cut down the trees and forest they can no longer they can no longer remove carbon dioxide from the air this results uh, it is in the additional carbon dioxide which is placed in atmosphere so this is one reason so wood burning by wood burning so humans are placing carbon in atmosphere so when we burn wood the carbon stored in trees when wood burned so here the carbon which is stored in trees becomes carbon dioxide and enters into the atmosphere so carbon which is present in trees it will become carbon dioxide and which is placed in the atmosphere next step next process that is combustion of fuels by combustion of fuels we extract fossil fuel so coal, like coal oil natural gas from the ground and burn them for energy at power plants so we are burning we are burning coal oil uh, coal natural gas like oil like uh, so these uh, fossil fuels for getting energy at power plants so the burning of fossil fuel called combustion the burning of fossil fuel in presence of oxygen that is called as a combustion fossil fuel combustion releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so fossil fuel combustion it will release it will give carbon dioxide to the atmosphere it will release the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere these three most important process which are uh, which are uh, done by the humans so which is uh, reason for placing carbon in the atmosphere so what are the harmful aspects of carbon cycle if any abnormality it is caused in carbon cycle if any abnormality it is caused in carbon cycle it can be very dangerous to living organisms it is it can be very dangerous to living organisms like it will cause a greenhouse effect and global warming so greenhouse effect that is if carbon is not recycled it can help in the formation of greenhouse gases so if carbon is not recycled 
it is carbonized not recycled so it can help in the formation of greenhouse gases so so which can cause greenhouse effect so global warming means without proper recycling of carbon this can increase the temperature of earth without proper recycling carbon can increase the temperature of earth so this is called as global warming so these are the harmful aspects of carbon cycle if any abnormality is caused by in carbon cycle it may uh, it may leads to the dangerous uh, dangerous effects like greenhouse effect and global warming so coming to the conclusion carbon cycle it is explains uh, the movement of carbon between our biosphere geosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere so carbon so we know that it is an important element of life it is an important element of life carbon dioxide in the atmosphere it is taken up by the green plants so and other photosynthetic organisms and these are converted into organic molecules that travel through the food chain the travel with the food chain means producers to consumers carbon atoms are then released as carbon dioxide carbon the carbon atoms are then released as carbon dioxide when organisms respire organisms respire so the formation of fossil fuel and sedimentary rocks contribute uh, contributes to the carbon cycle for a very long periods very long periods this is this uh, formation of fossil fuel and formation of sedimentary rocks so these will so this is a long period process so it will take for many years the carbon cycle it is associated with the availability of other compounds as well so this is also associated with it is also associated with the carbon cycle the, the nitrogen cycle oxygen cycle Uh, and others i cycles so this uh, associated with availability of other compounds as well so this is about carbon cycle steps involved in carbon cycle so here uh, the effects of carbon cycle so the from this uh, and thank you so much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates